Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Right in front of me, we got this beautiful crimson red Harley Davidson 2021 48 Sportster 48. Oh, wait, let me uh, rephrase from that Street 48. Uh, beautiful bike. Um, probably one of probably the bike that I think. Or I wish I had as my first bike. Funny thing I say that because right here we got the OG. The A83. That was my first bike. And when I was buying this bike, I was... That's the bike I really wanted. But what diverted me to this bike was just the price point. But this was the one that I really wanted. And uh, going back to that, like I I, I wish I would have done this one instead. I, I really do. Um, so we're gonna do a little nice little ride and review video of this bike. I know there's a few videos out there, but this is my take on it. And um, these are very popular bikes. A lot of people out there still shopping for these bikes, especially now that they're basically gone in Europe. And who knows? This might be the last year of the Sportsters here in the U.S. Like we, <laughs> that's that that might be it. Who knows? Um, so we'll start with the tank in the front. We got the forty. Eight. This is the reason why this bike has its name. Um, that classic, classic small tank right there. Not the best gas mileage you're going to get out of anything. You're going to be stopping every 80 miles or so. But beautiful design tank. Uh, if you're going to have this bike uh, for around town, around city, bar hopping type of style, it's going to be the perfect bike for you. Um, very small, nimble. Comes weighing around 550 550 pounds or though um it still has that evolution engine these are the only bikes that the evolution engine is still rocking on um an amazing engine a bulletproof engine um that type of engine that's going to give you that vibration that beautiful harley davidson vibration and sound that you really don't get out of um the mates now um but they're, these engines are they're bulletproof they're they're really bulletproof you can do whatever you want to these bikes these bikes are amazing because you, you they're so easy to work on as well um when i had my 83 i was able to learn a lot on that bike I'm not a mechanic or anything but i was able to you know switch around a few parts here and there and then from there on i'm doing different stuff on my current bikes right now um i really like this uh air cleaner right here nice round classic looks very 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 clean um, you're going to have four controls on this bike as opposed to the 83, which are mids. Um, I'm a fan of mid controls, to be honest. I'm not, I really don't like four controls that much. Now this bike is basically going to come out all blacked out with the exception of the exhaust and, um, the heads on the motors right there. Besides that, most of everything is pretty much blacked out. Jerry pointed out a point before he was like, oh, I wish they really color matched the fenders to the tank, but. I feel like I don't know like with the 48 like it's that's what kind of gives it a bit more character that it's just the tank both the front and the back fenders are in black and that's okay like it, it looks it looks really really good I like it um, going out to the front we're gonna have these beautiful mag wheels here I love the design on these wheels man they look really nice obviously a thicker wheel than um, than the one in the 883 uh, headlamp in the front still 2021 harley davidson guess what no led headlamps it's got the halogen light there which sucks at night but hey um you can just go on amazon and get yourself a nice led light for like 30 bucks literally 30 bucks and it'll illuminate everything the light on these bikes at night completely suck um as far as the gauge cluster in the front we'll go ahead and switch the light on with the key no key fob we got the cutoff on and off switch here your right turn signal your power your uh, dual turn signal button there um, on here you're gonna have your horn beep 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 right you're gonna have your on and off uh light high beam and then your toggle button with your toggle button you're gonna be able to toggle through see the time what gear you're in mileage you have trip a trip b and everything else on here you're gonna see when you're on neutral if you need oil if you're gonna got your right turn signal on um there's no indicator on here that lets you know how much gas you have left unfortunately uh the light will turn on when it gets to that point where it's like hey you need gas but no indication like the newer bikes um 
overall beautiful design bike uh this bike obviously is from the barber style era where everything's chopped off nice minimalistic look as you can see here in the back um i like the type of work that some people have to do and have done to these bikes where they even go ahead and they chop these fenders even more giving the bike more of a broader style type of look um suspension on these bikes uh honestly they suck so if you're gonna be getting this bike i that, that'll be one of the first things i change out suspension because they're they're really really firm the seat on here also sucks very very firm your your butt is going to be aching after you're on this bike for like 100 miles like it's really bad now it only comes set up for one person but it's very easy to add a pillion seat on here and you're gonna have to add on some passenger pegs but that's a you know little addition you can do on and if you want to ride your partner around then you could do it with that as well um pretty sure you're not gonna be doing long distance miles with your partner on here man this bike it just this bike just looks cool it just screams out like hey i'm a little badass i'm a i'm a little rebel get out of my way <laughs> you're gonna have the 1200 on here your 1200 cc engine compared to the 883 which is the 883 that's where it has its name um so obviously a bit more power in here more torque um overall a, a good fun bike if you're looking for a bike and if you live in a city type of way if you live in a city or anywhere like that this might be the perfect bike for you very small very nimble um weighs less than most of the bikes on the harley davidson platform and it just looks cool it just screams out hey i'm, I'm here to party you know um if you want to get this bike as a secondary bike as well if you just want to cruise around for just to have it as a little bar hopper also a great idea as well so if you're in that type of you know predicament then good for you and go ahead and get yourself a sportster um now you know a lot of people talk about sportsters and they say that sportsters are girl bikes and sportsters are for sissies and who drives a sportster and who rides a sportster I think sports are really cool. Um, I'm, I'm me. I'm on the shorter end, so me like I'm five seven. Like I fit perfectly on here. Jerry's six three, so he's you know obviously he's a bit cramped up on his bike and and everything. But me having the bikes that I have now, um, I mean I wouldn't. Uh, would, would I get this bike now? No, I wouldn't. Just because I like I like more of um I like more power. I like a bit more aggressive bikes, a bigger bike. Um, and I got that with my 2020 Lowrider S and my my 15 down at Lowrider as well. Um, it'll blow this bike out the park. But it's it's a cool bike. It's a it's a great beginner bike. Um, it's a great bike for anyone to learn how to work on a bike because it's so simple to work on. Very simple. So if you're coming into the Harley Davidson platform and you're new to riding, I highly recommend you get in this bike. Um, very easy for you to just, hey, a year later after that, you'd be like, hey, you know what? I like this bike a lot, but I think I want something else. You trade in for something else, which is totally fine. But that, that's what these bikes are here for. These bikes are these bikes are here to bring in new clientele to Harley Davidson and for you to have them for a year or two. Learn whatever you got to learn on, and then switch up, go out to the next pattern. That That's the main reason why Harley Davidson has these bikes. It's just to bring in some new clientele, right? Um, we are just having a conversation at the dealership. They were like, well, you know what? Well, the reason why they have this is because they want you to hop on another bike in the next year. And, you know, it's true. Same thing with the soft tails. You know, you have a soft tail for a few years, and soon enough, you're going to want to have a bagger. And you jump onto that platform, and so on and so on and so on um but the, the overall the, these uh these are great bikes man they're, they're gonna last you these are the type of bikes that if you get you really don't have to worry about anything but just doing an oil change and that's it to be honest they're the longevity in these bikes are you know endless they, it'll it'll last you a long time especially with that evo engine which is a, just a classic engine you got an evo Evo. Well, you got a 99 Evo. Your Evo's well, a beast. Evo. <laughs> yeah, it's a beast compared to this Evo's, but yeah. So that was your first time. Jerry already took uh he took a ride out on the 48 right now today. Your first time on the 48 ever. What you think about it? Uh, like you said, the seat sucks. I hit a couple potholes on the highway. The suspension sucks. Overall, though, it's comfortable with the forward controls. It it just. The mirrors I don't like underneath because all I was looking at was my knees. It's, it's a simple switch you can put them on top. Like New York City, Philadelphia, like just cruising around town and had to leave a bike on the street. That's what I'd be riding. Exactly. Because I'm not going to leave a you know twenty thirty thousand dollar bike on the street to get beat up. And with the potholes and everything in New York <coughs> City, I would change the suspension out, change the seat out, move the mirrors up, or change the bars. 
and I would ride the hell out of it if I was commuting in the city. Yeah. That's I mean, what it's for. The great thing about these bikes is that they're so customizable as well. You could do so much. Yeah. And you you know, you have people like me, for example, if I was to get this bike again, I'll do I'll do drag bars. Uh, I want that type I of look. Do, yeah, like a t higher maybe. Uh, a nah, just just flat just flat just flat right? drag bars, like super cool. Maybe, like three, four, yeah. Three. Some people do little mini apes Sports on these bikes. Um I, it looks badass, man. I think it's a, it's a cool looking bike. Price point, you're looking at eleven thousand two hundred dollars, two ninety nine maybe. Okay. Um, so it's uh, it's up there. I th we were just talking about price point. Uh, that we agree that prices on these Porsches should be a lot cheaper than what they are. They are the cheapest bikes on the Harley uh, platform, but I think they should be cheaper. Like this bike, that bike should be at nine grand, right? The A eighty three should be at like seventy five hundred or seven thousand. I think that'll be much more reasonable, and then they'll get a lot more people in it. But uh, I mean, eleven two is not a crazy amount. It's eleven two is a it's a it's a price that someone's gonna look at and be like, well, I could I could do eleven two, you know? It's uh, jump is a standard of fifteen. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a nice you know it's a nice price, but it, it I, <laughs> the bike should be cheaper though. Um, with that being said, we're gonna throw a leg over it. We're gonna finish this ride and review. Jerry's gonna hop on the A eighty three. Yep, get your all cramped up. Turn the key on this bad boy. <clears throat> it's definitely a peppy bike. You gotta say that. Four controls. How I love four controls. Not. This bike is definitely going to be a lot peppier than uh, the 883. Um, like I said before, uh, that was my first bike right there, guys. And I decided to go with that bike over this bike just over price point. Um, I was just being super, super cheap, though. But I definitely recommend, if you're looking at both these bikes, I definitely recommend you to go with this one. You're going to have a lot more power with the 1200 um, as opposed to the 883. And you know the, the nicer wheels on here, the thicker tire in the front, everything's just a bit more, a bit more nicer. This bike is definitely going to be a lot more peppier than the A83. I'll tell you that. Like I was saying before about the uh, suspension in the seat, it's uh, not the best. It kind of suck. So uh, you definitely have to invest in that, changing out the seats, changing out the suspension. Some exhaust, or uh, you get some Vance and High Shore shots on here. This bike will sound amazing, man. Uh, the mirrors are very easy just to flip up. You put them on here. So, one, two, three job will take like three minutes to do in your garage. Um, I like, I'm a fan of the mirrors in the bottom. I think they look cool. Do you get the best visibility out of them? No, not at all. But they look badass. Very nimble on the corners. This bike just tells you to lean over. So, so easy. And you would think that with the thicker tires, you wouldn't have that type of riding style, but on the contrary.
Now braking power right here. Not the best braking power. You got that one disc uh, brake in the front. What happened? You like that better? Really? You like that better? Yeah. We'll talk about that right now in the video. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought he would honestly like this better because his legs would be a bit more stretched out, but he feels more comfortable on the A83. We're gonna have five gears on here. Five long. Yeah, right. Five short gears. <laughs> I don't know what it is about sportsers, but when you're on these things, man, like the wind just beats you up. I don't get that feeling on other bikes. But you literally get beat up on these bikes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a little hole and I just felt that so much. Uh, this makes me appreciate the suspensions I have on other bikes. Oh my god. Got the mono shock on my 2020 low rider S and um I got the Legends Revo A's on the um the Dyna. Yo, shout out to Legends, man. Shout out to Legends. Huge, huge shout out to um, Garden State Harley Davidson for allowing me to come do this. Huge shout out to Rob. So if you guys are in the local area, guys, New York or Jersey area, you're looking for a bike, stop by Garden State. They'll definitely take care of you. Tell them I sent you. Tell the Marvel Kid sent me here to pick up my new bike. So which one do you prefer? The A83? Why? The A83, just the way the handlebars are now with the bigger tank, with the 19 inch wheel, and where the mids are, my legs are up, but I feel more in control, and I can feel like I turn faster, where the 16 inch turns slower. It's it's also because of the forward, uh, of the mids. I think the mids give you that type of comfort. Yeah, I feel a little more sportier. Yeah. This one here is more of like a cruiser type. I would prefer this. But, I mean, obviously, if I had an ED3 with a bigger gas tank, we have to maybe check that out one day, compare it. But I just, like, that one there is more, like, I'd have to change so much stuff on that. I could sh get this and change less and get more out of it, if that makes any sense. But just this, the handling and the way I'm sitting, I feel it's sportier, more in control. That's more a cruiser, but it turns slower, this turns faster. And I don't really notice a huge power difference. I feel the power difference. I mean, I'm not and happy maybe I got up. I only got up as high as seventy. That I don't even think I got to seventy. Really? The wind beats the crap out of you. I actually like the feel of the thicker tires. Like for me, it's not a huge difference. I'm I'm able to throw it around. But the bars are lower. I don't particularly. Care yeah. For. Amazing. Yeah, like wow, it's, uh, you prefer the A83 over the 1200. I can't believe it. Okay, well, cool. For that model. Oh, well, for this model. Iron, I might be all over the no, but as far as these two right here. As far as these two right here, I would take that. Oh. And the money I'd save, the three grand I'd save, I'd put into that bike. You heard it from the man himself. He chose the A83 over the 1200. That's going to be it, guys. I thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.